Do you want to know a simple yet powerful exercise that may alter your physique in just two minutes every day? Look no further than the plank. Planking is a popular core strengthening activity that is enjoyed by fitness enthusiasts all over the world. It's a basic, no-equipment workout that can be done practically anywhere and has wonderful results for your body. In this video, we'll look at what happens to your body if you plank for two minutes every day. It'll be an interesting video, so stick around until the conclusion. If you are coming for the first time, please subscribe to my channel to receive more health and fitness tips on a regular basis. Let's go! What exactly is planking? A plank is a core strengthening exercise in which you hold a position similar to a push-up but with your arms straight and your weight supported by your forearms. The plank's purpose is to keep a straight line from your head to your heels for as long as feasible. Proper Technique Begin in a push-up position, hands or forearms on the ground, and feet hip-width apart. Maintain the position for as long as you can by keeping your core engaged and your back flat. Keep your head in line with your spine and gaze on a location on the ground about a foot ahead of you to prevent straining your neck. Benefits Increased Core Strength One of the best workouts for improving your core muscles is planking. Your core muscles, which comprise your abs, obliques, and lower back muscles, are critical for proper posture and reducing lower back pain. Planking targets these muscles by inducing a static contraction, forcing them to collaborate in order to hold your body in a straight line. Improved Posture Planking helps to improve your posture by strengthening your core muscles, which support and keep your spine in a neutral position. A strong core also lessens the load on your lower back, which can help relieve back pain and stiffness. Reduced Risk of Injury Planking enhances your balance, stability, and flexibility, which lowers your chance of injury during other activities. You become less prone to stumbles, twists, or unexpected movements that could cause harm by strengthening your core muscles and enhancing your general body awareness. Metabolism Booster Planking activates several muscular groups, including your core, glutes, quadriceps, and shoulders, increasing your metabolic rate. A greater metabolic rate indicates that your body burns more calories even while you're not doing anything, resulting in enhanced calorie burn and weight loss. Increased Mental Toughness Planking involves mental strength and focus, which improves your mental toughness and discipline. Holding a plank for two minutes pushes you to push through discomfort and weariness, which can transfer to other areas of your life when mental toughness is required. Your fitness level and goals will determine how long you should hold a plank. Following are some general guidelines. 20 to 30 seconds for a beginners, 30 to 60 seconds intermediates, 1 to 2 minutes or more for advanced. It's critical to remember that quality always trumps quantity. It is preferable to hold a plank for a shorter period of time with good form than to hold it for an extended period of time with poor form. Contraindications. Injuries to the shoulders or wrists, planking requires you to bear weight on your forearms or hands, which might strain your shoulders or wrists. Planking may aggravate your illness and produce pain or discomfort if you have a history of shoulder or wrist problems. Lower back discomfort. Planking may not be appropriate for you if you have chronic lower back discomfort. Pressure on your lower back muscles and spine might aggravate your disease and produce further pain. Pregnancy, before engaging in any exercise, including planking, pregnant women should contact their doctor. Planking can cause abdominal muscle strain, which can be dangerous during pregnancy. High blood pressure, planking requires holding your breath and forming an isometric contraction, which can momentarily boost your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure or a history of heart disease, planking may not be for you. Pelvic floor disorders, if you have pelvic floor disorders, such as urine incontinence, planking may aggravate your disease and put strain on your pelvic floor muscles. If you have any of these contraindications, you should avoid planking or alter the exercise to your needs. You can get advice from a trained fitness professional or healthcare provider on how to alter your planking regimen to ensure your safety and avoid further difficulties. This brings us to the end of today's video. However, planking, like all exercises, has its pros and cons, therefore, it is critical to perform it in moderation and with perfect form. 
So, start planking and reap the benefits it has to offer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.